Hey everyone, this is Codger. This week I'm not going to do another installment of the Donnie Smith Bike Show. I just want to let you know that. I'm in the middle of a move. I got to pick up my life and move it across town. So that's really kind of putting a stop on things. But I want to get a quick video out because I promised to do one every Saturday. But I'll have this out on Sunday, not too far off. So I think I'm doing okay. You'll have to forgive me if you wanted to see more Donnie Smith Bike Show. But I'm going to show you something else here today. So let's get into it. So anyways, today I'm going to show you a very special bike. As you all are looking at this, you can see what it is. It's a 2023 CVO Road Glide Limited Anniversary Edition. Now why I wanted to show you this is because I think it's going to be a rare thing to see these in a shop. I think they're selling pretty well and they're a beautiful bike. It's, it's rare just for the fact that it's 120th Anniversary Edition. It's a CVO. It's got all the bells and whistles. It's just not going to be a bike that everyone owns. You may own something like it, but this bike is something extra special. And the paint job is just spectacular. The pinstriping, and look at that eagle there. That is a work of art. It's beautiful, it's subtle, but if you look at it, it stands out as well. I think that's really something hard to do artistically, is to have something stand out yet be subtle. I think they did a great job there. This is just a beautiful bike. It's definitely set up for two people riding, passenger riding. Everything about it is class. It's got crash bars in the back. It's got crash bars in the front. It has the sharp nose fairing and it has the lower fairing. It has a 117 cubic inch engine. As far as I know, that's the biggest engine that Harley is currently producing. There might be a 121 in the works, but we don't know that yet. So this is what we do know. And Pete's pointing out here that you can use the fob to lock your bags and stuff, which is a nice little quality of life feature that he really appreciated. And I can understand that. It is nice. Even the handlebars look pretty cool. It's a chrome job, which I personally like. I'm old school, so I like that. Harleys are old school, and I like that they stick to that here in this application. It would cost more if it was a black finish, I'm sure. And Pete's pointing out the pipes and that the lighting is something that Harley Davidson offers now on the trunk there. You got the luggage rack. You can really put a lot on this bike if you want to travel. And if you didn't take a passenger, there's even more storage space in the back seat if you think about it. And he's going to point out the price there. Not cheap, but if you have the, that kind of money and feel like it's okay to spend it, I think it's a great idea. If I had that kind of money, that bike would have been mine that very minute. I guarantee it. It is awesome. I hope you appreciate it. Tell me what you think about it in the comments, whether you like it, don't like it. I'm sure the price for a lot of people will be like, no way, man. I like the bike, but that can just F off right there. I understand that, too. I kind of am in the same boat. I just wish I had more money. You understand? But anyways, this has been Codger. I want to remind all bikers to ride safe and keep the shiny side up. I want to remind everyone else to live their best life. And I want to remind everyone, please thank a veteran or active service member for their service. They have earned your respect and gratitude. Have a great one. Man, what bike do I ride? The fat boy? Or the low rider? I don't really know. Probably the fat boy. The low rider's a lot of fun, but I'll tell you what you can do. You can like, comment, and subscribe, and share. While I try to decide which one I'm gonna ride. It's the best problem to have.